Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So here you will be doing a complete walkthrough of prime factors, yeah? And this is covering the Edexcel mass spec for GCSE and IGCSE. Now what we're doing here exactly is that we're going to go through pretty much the key points here. So first things first, look at the key points and then we're going to look at three exam questions. Now these exam questions are, are pretty much past exam questions. Now let's go and check out what we mean by prime and factors, yeah? So first things first. What are prime numbers? Well, a prime number are just numbers which divide by itself and one. So you can kind of think of this list here, yeah? So the numbers like two, three, five, you can only get them by doing two times one, three times one, and five times one. There's no four there because four is made by other numbers like two times two. So essentially guys, a prime number is just numbers where you can only get all these numbers by timesing itself and one. Now, what about other word factors? Well, factors are just all numbers that divide into a number. So think of it this way, yeah? To get number 24, you can do it by doing, let's say, 1 times 24. We could also do it by doing 2 times 12. So you can kind of see that the factors so far are 1, 2, 12, and 24. We have other numbers here as well we can do, like, for example, 3 times 8 um, and 4 times 6. So altogether, there are 8 different numbers, and all of these are considered factors. And trust me, guys, this, this is what you actually need to know for prime factors, yeah? And that's it guys, that's all you need to know about prime numbers and factors. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into the exam questions and look at prime factors as it is. Express 90 as a product of its prime factors. So first thing you want to do for this type of question guys is first you draw the stem of 90 and then now you just want to break it down. Now with prime factors, you just want to get it down to prime numbers like 2, 3, 5 and so on. So when we think of 90, let's divide it. So we know we can half it, so we can do 2 and 45. So the first prime number is 2, so always circle or highlight it. Next one's 45, so let's break that down. We can divide it by 5, so it'll be 5 and 9, so 5 is a prime. And let's break down 9 into 3 and 3. And that's it, guys, that's all you do. Now, the question wants us, they want it as a product of its prime factors. In other words, you've got to make 90 equal to each of these numbers. Now, because we've got two sets of threes, it's going to be three to the power two. And you write times, and you write the next number, which is five, and the last one, which is two. I mean, actually, in order, it's always good to do it in order of numbers. But that's just one way of writing it. For the second example, we want to express 210 as a product of its prime factors. So let's have a look. So we're doing the same thing. We're going to write 210 like this, and then break it down using the tree method. So this time, I'm going to break it down using uh, the 10 times table, yeah? So dividing this by 10, you should get 21 and 10. And the cool thing is, guys, you can break it both ways. So 21 drops to 3 and 7, whereas 10 breaks down to 2 and 5. And that's it, guys. These are all the final prime numbers. So once again, on the left-hand side, let's write 210 can be written as, and this time I'm going to do an order, 2 times 3 times 5 times 7. So we don't have to write any piles because it's just one of each. Now for the next part, we want to express 105 squared as a product of its prime factors. 105 squared literally just means, well, 105 and another 105, more plot together. But what we're going to do, we're going to make it a bit more like clever, yeah? We're just going to work with 105 once, and whatever we get, we're just going to double the powers, because you've got two of them. So check it out. So 105, we can break it down, we can divide it by 5, so it'll be 5 and 21. For 21, you can break it down into 3 and 7. Now, altogether, we've got 5, 3, and 7. That means 105 is just basically 3 times 5 times 7. Therefore, 105 squared just means you double each power. So it'd be 3 squared times 5 squared times 7 squared. And that's it, guys. That's just a shortcut to do this one. Now, for the last example, we have this one. It says, given that 25x squared minus 1 factorizes to give this algebraic expression, so they're using the quadratic method, express 2499 as a product of its prime factors. Okay, so what they're trying to say here, guys, yeah, they really told us how to factorize this one. They're literally telling us, use this idea and link it to 2499. So let's go ahead and try and think in that sense, yeah? Let's try and figure out what x could be from here. So what I would suggest, I would firstly equal 2499 with 25x squared minus 1, so you can say let 25x squared minus 1 equal 2,499. Now, first thing you want to do is move the 1 across, so add 1. So we're going to have 25x squared equals 
2,500. And now we can divide 25 across because the aim is trying, is trying to figure out what X is. So we can substitute back into this bracket here. And this will help us a lot to get prime factors, yeah? So dividing 25 across, you're going to get X squared equals 100. So that's nice and easy. And to get X on its own, you go square root, guys. So X equals the square root of 100, which is just 10. You could write plus minus 10, but we're just going to keep it in whole number terms, yeah? We'll just use positive 10. Now, now we know what X is. Let's, let's go ahead and drop into the double bracket, yeah? So we can say straight away, let 2,499 equal, well, if you replace X with 10, you're going to have 5 times 10, which is 50, minus 1, which is 49. And then you can put times because these two brackets are more part of each other. And then same thing, 5 times 10 is 50, add 1 is 51. Now the question here, guys, I mean, what you could do, like in the beginning, we could have, of course, used a tree on 2499, but you want to use this trick to simplify the numbers. And then all you want to do now is just break down 49 and 51 separately. So let's do it. So using the tree method for 49, well, actually, you don't even need to. 49 is just 7 times 7. And that's the end of that. Whereas for 51, 51 is the same as, and this is kind of tricky. This is actually in the three times table. You end up finding out that it's going to be three times 17. Because 17 itself is actually a prime number. Now putting it all together, this means that 2,499 is equal to, and I'll do an order, three times, and you've got two sevens, so seven squared times 17. And that's it, guys. This is fully broken down. If you had to do it the long way around, you'll realize that this would be so, like, it would be kind of complicated to work out. You could try dividing by three, but always try and follow what they're using, yeah? If for some reason, you know, you, if it gets kind of tricky to figure out, then go ahead, guys, use a factor tree and just test numbers until it works. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.